Have you ever wanted to have an unlimited amount of honey in Minecraft? No? Why would I need that? You might be thinking. That's silly. Well, it's because you can, and it's super easy. All you have to do is follow these quick and easy steps. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to support the channel. These are the blocks that you will need at the minimum. Either a bee's nest or a beehive, about five stone or block of your choosing, about eight glass, five redstone dust, a redstone comparator, a hopper, a dispenser, not a dropper, a dispenser, and flower of your choice. I'm going to build this in a way that I find easy, but you can put any block at any order that you want. Let's have some hoppers going this way. As you can see, when you place a hopper into a block, it will chain it that way. If you don't, then they will just go straight into the ground, and that's not what we want. On top of this block right here is where we will put down our beehive or bees nest. We'll put a comparator there leading into a block, and then we can put two blocks on top of each other like that, and then a row of blocks underneath that, and then two blocks leading like this. We are going to put redstone on these, and then we're going to put a piece of glass right here so that the redstone can follow up no problem. You could also use a slab if you put it on the top, but I prefer glass. It looks cleaner. And then we'll put redstone on top of these right here. So let's easily dig down right there. We will place our dispenser leading into our beehive. And then that is where we are going to put our bottles or shears. Let's place down a flower so that our bees that are in here eventually will be able to have something to pollinate. Put our glass around here so that they cannot escape. This is not about being morally correct. We are here to get honey not be nice. So how this works on the mechanical side, once your hive reaches level 5 out of 5, that is when it will trigger the redstone. You can have as many bees as you want, 1, 2, 3, whatever. Before we place down our level 5 hive in here, which will trigger our redstone, we want to go ahead and place our shears into the dispenser like this, if you want honey comb. And if you want honey blocks, you are going to need to fill it all the way up with glass bottles. It doesn't have to be full stacks, it can just be a couple in each slot, but every slot has to be filled up. So let's go ahead and place down our level 5 hive here, and then you're going to see it will instantly activate. You see, you heard it activate there. And now, when we go into our hopper, we're going to see honey bottle. And again, if we put shears in there, it would give us honeycomb. Also, don't forget to put a chest at the end of your hopper so that it will pick up all of your items that the dispenser captures. With this farm being the way that it is, we do not have to worry about having campfires underneath it, as we are not actively doing anything to the hive to stir up the bees. However, if you do not use silk touch to mine these up, you will stir up the hive, and they will be mad at you. So yes, you are going to need Silk Touch to mine these up, and then you will not serve the hive. And as you can see here, we can have either the hives or the nest, it does not matter. However, you can craft the hives, you cannot craft the nest. You have to find those in the wild. And here, you can easily see the amount of honey that's in here, so... Hello. Right here is level 4, and this would be level 5. If I had anything in here, it would activate. If you don't have anything in here and it's already up here, all you have to do is break the redstone and then place it back down, and then it activates. And I made an entire bee farm base in survival on the Mindful SMP server. Transition. To start off with, I decided I needed a lot of clay. Yellow clay is much warmer than yellow concrete, which is why I decided to use yellow concrete for more of the details. Make it a little less bright and overbearing. On the screen, I will show the honeycomb shape that I found online to use because my brain just don't work with numbers. So that's what I copied and pasted. My whole idea was to make it feel like you're in a working hive, and that's what started this entire project in my head. When it came to the walls, I wanted to make sure they had a lot of windows since we're on top of the mountain. I wanted to be able to look out and see everything, and I wanted to be able to see in where all of the bees are actually going to be that are free range. Plus, you can see spawn, and there's tons of natural light in the build. I used pretty much only orange glass in this entire build. Regular yellow is just way too bright for my taste. I continued with the glass framing on top to finalize the honeycomb feel. Down a layer, I dug out the space we needed for the actual farm. This is where all of the automatic honeycomb and honey bottles are going to be farmed. My main idea came with the idea of being able to look at the build on a map, and I think it looks sick. I came up with an idea for the floors that looks like a honeycomb is actually filled with honey, and I snuck some lighting in there too. The lights in here remind me of the antlion caves in like Half-Life 2 Episode 2. From there, I dug out another section for the honey bottles. I decided I wanted to make them separate to hopefully maximize the amount we get. 
There's a total of 40 hives here for the bottles with 20 on each side. There's 18 on each side for the combs. So there's a total of 76 hives here. It might be overkill, but I don't care. It was a last minute decision, but I came up with an idea of making a window, kind of like a doorway, really, out of the mountain. Looks like it's part of the hive and it's leaking honey. It's a great way to get in and out, especially with Elytra. And then I added some storage and that's pretty much a wrap on this build. So yeah, now we're pretty much done with this build. I added some beacons down here. I moved the beacons down there rather so that we have some nice haste and speed, which is pretty much the only way I got this done. A fun little feature that I completely did not think about when building this thing was when you sleep, all the all the bees pop out of their hives at the same time. It makes a very loud sound, but it's funny. Let's let's see. <laughs> there's, just, there's just so many bees. There's so many bees. In case you don't know, the way to get a whole bunch of bees like this, just breed them. I forgot that you can actually breed them until I was actually <laughs> halfway through building this. When I got to this one, I just realized that's not a whole lot of bees and then I tried to breed them. All you need is two flowers and two bees and bada boom, bada bing. So I kind of just went crazy with getting a whole lot of bees. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I feel like the more bees, the better. So yeah, I just spam flowers in here and I tried multiple ways of getting a way to be in here without letting the bees out. This way seems to be the best right here with the trap doors and the ladders. Uh, baby bees don't seem to be able to get out, which is great because I was having that issue with slabs and other things that I tried. And then over here, we have an entire chain of hoppers leading to this chest over here, which this is really efficient. I, I'm quite surprised. I'm happy. I wish it were, was more efficient, but it's really efficient nonetheless. As you can see, the yellow is just way too yellow. This is actually orange, but it looks... <laughs> it doesn't look orange because there's a glitch with the shaders that makes it look red. I don't know, but I promise it's orange. Right over here, we got all of our bottles. This is going to be the hardest thing to deal with, is supplying this thing with bottles. So I have a lot of glass to deal with. <laughs> Well, it's not too bad. I've been AFK here for uh, about two hours. Yeah, it's it's not it's not very efficient with the honey. But you know, we we get some nonetheless. Oh yeah, and then we have our storage building over here. I have some shulkers here to be able to move our produce over to the shopping district, which that's what we're moving on to next. We need to build a shop to sell all this stuff. That's kind of the point. But I added an area up here with the honey comb blocks and then we got our honey combs and then our honey oh and then we got the afk zone right here all right so let's go over the shopping district and figure out where we want to build this shop i have a pretty good idea of it it's gonna continue with uh the honeycomb idea here so let's go figure that out Phew. oh yeah that that's what it looks like right there let's land right here okay so there's like a, a ravine right there. That's not mine, by the way, in case you would think so, because on the slime, it's not mine, but it looks great. Let's try and get up here. Ah, yeah, I'm a professional. Hello, phone. Man, we really need to pretty, pretty, pretty it up over here. These paths are kind of lackluster for this awesome shopping district. I'm thinking right there could be cool. That's a really good location. I'm kind of envious of that. I want it to be very easy to get to, and that is pretty much the prime location for everybody that comes here. That's our bookshop. Ah! Okay. Hello. He hello? <laughs> Who is... Who's there? Huh? That's not what a slime sounds like. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. I think I've kind of settled on the idea of claiming this area right here. I don't want to get into the ravines as there might be something coming here. I don't want to step on anybody's turf. It's not really possible to easily go this way to get behind here. But I think right here is the prime location. I'm just going to have to terraform some even kind of hill gradient here. Okay, this layer should do the job. I can bring it out this way a little bit if needed. I'm going to figure out the shape here and then I'll be right back. All right, so I am going to admit this took me about an hour, if I had to guess, just to figure out the 
freaking shapes of these things. I think I've got it figured out. Now I'm going to fill these areas in with honey and then I'm going to top it with glass, which I need to make some glass. Crafting tables in here. Hello. So I'm going to do this first one a layer down just to give it some depth. Okay, so I'm going to do basically the exact same thing as I did before. I'm going to line the outside here and then in the middle. Then we go down one more in the middle area. And then I think that we'll add some light right here. I, I'll call it on that one. Then I'll add some lights over on these. So now I need to add some honey in these areas. Fill that up like that honey. And I'll do some more over here. All right. And then I'll fill that bad boy in with glass. And now it's really got depth. I really love this trick. I love that I figured this out. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> all right, and now I've got to do the same with all of these. However, I think I think I'll just do a layer of honeycomb blocks on this one and this one over here, and then this one I'll do the I'll do the same thing a crossover. All right, and there's that one. I think I want to move that over here. I trust my eye too much right there. Yeah, that's better. All right, that's done. Let's fill it in with glass. Bada boom, bada bing. Exterior's done. Now for the actual shop interior area. I'm kind of winging this. I don't actually have a build planned out and like creative or anything. I usually do that for bigger things. Not for this one. So I think that I would like wall, 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 wall. I have windows right there on each side. Actually, no, not right there. No, dude, come on. <laughs> really? I just got done with that. Really? <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too glass short. Proper doorway like so. Okay, okay. We're making progress. I don't know what I'm going to use for a floor yet. I might do. So I'm thinking spruce planks mud mud bricks like packed mud not regular mud or this yeah i i think that i'll do the actual honey blocks honeycomb blocks for the floor and then the glass on top i don't think a, a flat block will look very good so i've got the main frame down here now i need to get the roof done and then I'm going to break things down and add some detail since it is extremely flat at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did for the other place, which is I'll do the bright yellow concrete around the rim. And then I will do glass inside. Okay, now I want to make some glass panes. All right, let's raise this one. So in here, I want to have some bees behind the glass, strictly because they will probably fly away if I don't add glass. But I also think it, it's a cool little uh, little attraction type thing. It's like a zoo, you know? Then I'll add like a, a hive in here eventually and a few flowers. Why is this thing going crazy over here? Shut up. No. I had like a chain up there and then I have a hive like in the middle somewhere. La 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 la. Okay, I think for basic generalized detail instead of having all the walls the clay i'll do a bit of honeycomb with honey as kind of like a window not all the walls just like the corners here on the side and the other side it's nothing spectacular but it doesn't really have to be i'm not trying to beat all these guys with just masterpieces i like the simplicity like a slime outside of adding some bees on each side and I need to add an area with like chests and stuff for the produce. I'll probably add barrels. And then I want to have the item frames on top in the middle. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. hurt, hurt. There we go. Then I can add these right there in the middle of which is which. I'll use scissors. Scissors? <laughs> I'll use shears. How long have I? I've been playing this game for like a decade. Over a decade. Jeez. I use shears on these once the items are in, which will make those disappear. You there, you there. Now I'll put a honey bottle in that. Put honeycomb there. 
Not sure if I actually showed up here in the, the first main layer. So yeah, I just did some generalized decorating. I have a really hard time decorating interiors. I can do exteriors all day long, but when it comes to interiors, I am kind of in a struggle bus. All right, and here's what I'm talking about. So with our data pack, uh, if you shift and then right click, there we go, invisible item frame, bada boom, bada bing. And it's a glowing one, so it produces light even though you can't see it. I found a trick recently that I hadn't really thought of before. If you're on keyboard, I'm, I'm in Java edition. If you hold control and Q, you can just scroll over all the items in there and it will instantly drop. Very nice little trick, makes things quick. All right, and as far as I'm concerned, the shop is a wrap. I've got everything the way that I want it, except for not having as much product as needed. I have a fair amount of things, especially honeycomb in here. Um, I realized a little bit too late that I can be selling uh, candles as well in here. So I only have one stack, but that is something that I need to be adding in here for sure. We got the honey blocks in here. I wrote this book down, kind of explaining things, the prices and everything. Uh, if anybody needs bulk orders, then they can read there. Now with the next step to take here, with candles, we also need string. It takes one honeycomb and it takes one piece of string and then you get a candle. I don't have a way of getting string, but I did find a while ago a triple spawner. Now I wrote down two spawner, but it's actually a triple. I did not know that because I went over there and got a little bit of string a little while ago for some dispensers. Then I realized, oh wow, it's a triple. So I'm gonna go make a farm out of that. And of course we got our little, I don't know what you would call this bulletin board, something like that. Just leave your review here. Anybody got anything to say about their purchases or whatever if they need anything if they have any negative comments whatever it is they can write a review we've got those going on pretty much all around which is nice like right over here we got a nice one right here got another one over here this one's got quite a bit of reviews here wow while we're over here i actually really need to get some fireworks because i'm pretty sure these are my last ones yeah i have none in my rocket box <laughs> one diamond for six stacks of tier three rockets I shall help myself. I'm gonna show you a little trick in case you didn't know about it. So, right, we, we got a flower right here, a big flower. You can hold right click. It does it pretty fast, relatively fast. But if you go in here, go to uh, controls, keybinds, go down a little bit to right here, where it's a right click, use item. Click a button that isn't used by anything else if you have mods or whatever, and then hold it down. And bada boom, bada bing. It's like four times faster. I don't know. That's just a guess. Little nice trick and tips. Just like creeper. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. Pepper. <laughs> I just found another. <laughs> okay, dude, just ignore it. Just ignore it. I ignore can't. I need more. 